What is up YouTube? I'm Ashrit, I'm an Ableton certified trainer and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a techno kick drum from scratch using nothing more than the samples that come with Live 11 Suite. Let's go. Let's start by grabbing a 909 kick drum. So we can find one right here in the drums category. I'll go ahead and type in 909 and here we go. That's the one I'm going to use. Let's load that up. and sequence it and let's push the tempo up to something like 139 all right so now that we have the the underlying kick drum let's create an exciting sub around this i'm going to drop in the hybrid reverb onto this track yes reverb on kicks it works it works it works wonders all right so i'm going to push up the drive at to 100 and open up the chain list after I group the hybrid reverb and put the reverb in its own chain. Let's rename that. Let's call this Rai, let's call this reverb. And I'm also going to blend to the convolution only. Let's change between a few of these. I think I quite like that one. Let's go over to the EQ and switch this from a cut to a shelf. Grab this one and switch that to a cut. And let's drop the frequency down. Let's go back to the reverb controls and play around with the attack and size parameters over here. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. Let's go ahead and sidechain this guy. I'm going to grab an instance of LFO tool, load it up on the reverb chain and bring that down, bring this guy down. And yeah, there we go. That's a reverb kick. Now let's go ahead and mono the bass on the hybrid reverb. So uh, what that does is everything uh, below 180 hertz is in mono. And let's also turn up the vintage just a bit. Take a look at the difference between no LFO tool and LFO tool. It's a little bit cleaner and make sure the the kick has its own space and the reverb has its own space. All right, so now that we have the bottom end, let's go ahead and insert another MIDI track and we can use this to uh, program a little low end rhythm. Uh, I'm gonna choose another kick for this this one here. So let's, uh, let's look through, let's look through and find one. I think that should work perfect so I'm going to drop that in and let's make a two beat loop and just paint a few notes like like this bring the volume down and I'll also mess around with the velocities once we start playing this clip like that one and I, I just feel like it's a bit too sharp because it's a kick so I'm gonna turn down the filter and keep it something on these lines there we go a nice little groove uh, in fact I'm gonna turn the filter back up and side chain this and let's get uh, let's grab a instance of uh, auto filter still getting used to the whole audio effects being in folders with live 11 all right i like this method because it cuts away uh, all the clicks that are coming through as well okay great now let's group these two and a friend of mine recently told me about this free plugin called uh, macd it's spelled this way macd uh, this is basically an emulation of an old Mackie mixer is what he told me. I didn't really go into researching what this is about, but it's a really, really simple plugin that does not have a UI. So if you're scared to try a plugin that doesn't have a UI, maybe this isn't for you, but give this a shot. Give this a shot. Trust me. 
So here we have just two controls, an in trim and an out pad. The out pad controls the output gain and the in trim controls the input gain. So when I turn up the in trim, it sends a hotter signal into the mixer and starts producing these really nice saturated frequencies. Now I can turn this up quite a bit and get to something like this, but that's not what I'm going for in this case. But by all means, feel free to do that if that's your thing. I'm gonna keep it somewhere around here. I want a cleaner but glued and warm sound. So I think this is where I'm gonna be. Let's switch it off, switch it back on. All right, I quite like what that's doing. Now we can take this a few steps further and I'm going to right click on the main 909 kick that we have, group it, and this way we can layer another additional kick with this. Let's go back to the drums. And I'm gonna look for something that has a click. Okay, let's try that, let's try that. Yeah, quite, quite cool. Uh, but I don't need the low frequencies on this, so I'm going to change this to a high pass here and just filter out those unnecessary frequencies. And balance the volume just to stick it in the right place. Now we can do a whole lot more to this kick. Uh, I can also go ahead and add a layer of like a little bit of crackle maybe what the hell am i doing spelling crackle okay here we go so i'm looking for something that's long and not too uh not like a percussion i'm looking for something that's more like an atmosphere yes that's the one let's bring that in i'll show you another trick that i do Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is just loop this into a three beat, three beat kind of thing. That's adding a really cool underlying rhythm on its own. Now we can take this a few steps further. Uh, essentially, after you've made the kick and added a reverb to generate the sub and you've, you've got a rhythm going on, think of this like it's a canvas and you can do anything you want on top. Now, another thing sometimes I like to do is stick a hi-hat in there as well. Let's look for a nice 909 hi-hat. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. I also sometimes uh, like to turn the snap off because I like samples to end where they, where they should end and not let live decide that for me. Let's mess around with uh, this a little bit. We can probably even go ahead and add a bit of reverb on the hats. And maybe even go back to the Macri and just turn up the input gain a little bit. You hear that nice crunch that we're getting on top? That's a Macri doing its thing. There we go. That's how you make a kick drum on uh, on live using no more than just the samples that come with it. Uh, I think a, a few of these samples are actually from some of the packs that I've downloaded. So. Uh, I mean, don't, don't hesitate to install these packs that come with Live 11 Suite. That's where some of the gold is. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what I should do next. I would love to hear ideas from you. And uh, yeah, see you for the next one.